What's up, y'all? Hope y'all feeling blessed. Hope y'all feeling amazing. Hope y'all feeling great. If you don't know me, if you're seeing this uh, video randomly, my name is Michael Benjamin. I wrote a book called The Power of Yet. It's coming out June 19th. Go and cop it. Got that out of the way. So what's up, y'all? So basically, this book update is just going to be a Q&A session. So I've been getting asked a lot of different questions from, you know, I got people supporting me from San Diego. I got some people from uh, Houston, Texas, people from Philly, people from Washington State, different areas. Some people from Nigeria, you know, shout out to all my Nigerians. But yeah, so I'm going to do a Q&A session. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I basically compiled a list of questions that I've been getting asked and I call it frequently if it's been asked more than two times. So at least three times I've been asked the question. So I'm going to just go over it and we're just going to have that going on today. So the first question. Why'd you name your book The Power of Yet? So I do motivational speaking, and the way I got my topic, I was doing a lot of different research. Well, the way I got my topic goes back to me doing a blog, but I could talk about that. That's like a whole different story. Basically, I followed a researcher. Her name is Dr. Carol Dweck, and she talks about the growth mindset, and she was talking about The Power of Yet. So that really influenced me, and then that was my speaking topic. So I was doing this growth mindset, the power of yet talk. That's my most popular speaking topic right now. So I decided to go off of that philosophy, but I wanted to do a fiction tale that was also personal development. So that's how the power of yet came through. What is the power of yet about? So the power of yet is basically about um, this girl named Nia Akintoe. I have a trailer. I'll probably link it to here. I, I might put this on YouTube too, so you can go look at the channel. So basically, it follows this girl named Nia Akintoe. She's an aspiring computer scientist. And as an aspiring computer scientist, she deals with many fears and insecurities. Her brother passed away, and she just has a lot of different issues. So she's in a fixed mindset. She's trying to learn to go from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And one of her biggest insecurities is her fear of public speaking. So I felt like this was good to relay a message because a lot of people can relate to having a fear for public speaking. So in a nutshell, without taking too much time, that's what the power yet is about. There's a synopsis. If you want to go to the page to pre-order it, you can go pre-order it now at michaelobenjamin.com slash the dash power dash of dash yet. So you can go to the website right there and pre-order it and get more information. So what's the inspiration behind the book? So I kind of answered this question already. So it's basically the fact that I do motivational speaking and I got my topic based off of what I, what I speak about. And then the second thing, oh, this is more important. Um, it's predicated off of the fact that I paid off my student loans in one year, 30,000 plus. Sorry, I'm kind of nasally. So 30,000 plus in one year and I feel like I have some financial literacy knowledge that people could benefit from, so. That's how it came to be. Uh, why did you choose a girl as a main character? So initially I was gonna go with a uh, boy, but then I realized the fact that, you know, girls are marginalized in the field of tech and more specifically like black girls, you know, they're marginalized as a whole and often they're like an afterthought in conversation. So that's why I decided to paint this picture through a black girl's eyes. So I'm not saying in the book that, you know, she overcomes or does have the growth mindset or does well or anything, but I just wanted to have a black girl as a main character. Yeah. Like Lil Wayne says, don't worry about what's in my cup. <clears throat> All right, <coughs> oh shoot. So what's the symbolic meaning behind the fire on the book cover designs? Oh, so this question I was getting asked when I was back when I was doing the competition with the book covers. So the flame, you got to kind of read the book. I'm going to leave it at that. Are you editing the book by yourself? Yes and no. So I am editing the book by myself. Well, I did edit the book by myself just to, you know, spot my own mistakes. And then I sent it over to a couple editors and they did their work. You know, they got five, 10 years of experience. They, they know what they're doing. Um, next question. How long have you been working on it? So from idea to actual execution, I would say 
a little over a year, April 2018. I have a phone, I have a note in my phone that talks about it. But for me actually seriously working on it, I would say upwards of six months, like last November, October area, basically. So yeah, that's how long it has been. Am I working a full-time job? I am working. <laughs> I'm working a full-time job. Yes. Uh, I work as a chemical engineer. So how did you have the time to write a book with Nesby and all the other stuff that you're doing? So basically, there's this crazy philosophy. And this crazy philosophy, I want you all to pay attention. This crazy philosophy is that when you want to really do something, you'll make time for it. Y'all can have that one. How did you write a book? So basically, the way I did it was I hired a ghostwriter. I didn't even write the book, to be honest with y'all. So I hired a ghostwriter. The ghostwriter wrote it for me. I didn't do any work. I just do all the social media posts and everything. I didn't even write the book. So how'd you go about making the website for your book? Um, so the website portion you guys see in terms of my book, it's it's already my own personal website I made for speaking. So I didn't make a specific website. So basically, the way I did it was when I graduated back in 2017, that summer I was looking for a job. I just learned a lot of HTML, just randomly, HTML coding. And basically now, which was like, you know, couple, over the last six months, it came as a benefit because I made my speaking website and then I just added a new page onto it. Um, oh, wait, going back to my question, I, I wrote the book. I didn't hire no ghostwriter if y'all haven't caught on yet. So the way I did it was I took out my laptop and I typed stuff into Word. So, um, all right, let me stop BSing y'all. So the way I wrote the book was I pretty much, you know, I believed in myself from the soul. I believed in myself and then I had to come with a, a plan. I had a plan to execute it and then I just executed it you know Nike said it as good as anyone could put it just do it that's how I did it how much is the power of yet so the power of yet is a $20 investment that can potentially help you pay off your loans quicker than you would pay them off yourself so I guess um, one thing I want to also emphasize is this this book is predicated off of the fact I paid off my student loans really quickly I don't know if I ever said that in the video but I paid off my loans $30,000 uh, plus in one year um, You can go get the power. Yeah, right now. It's out on June 19th. You can get it at my website michaelobenjamin.com slash D Dash power dash of dash yet So yeah, go ahead and grab that over there How do I order the power yet? I just told y'all you can go to the website and then um, You can also go to the trailer because I released a trailer. I, I have the links in there but michaelobenjamin.com slash the dash power dash of dash yet then you'll get there um michael i'm trying to go to the launch party where's it at so launch parties there's gonna be one in washington state june 14th um i'll post the details and then june 21st is going to be the one in California. It's going to that one's going to be in like the IE area, so River, Riverside area. So if you're out there, you know, let me know, hit me up. We're going to figure it out. Will there be an ebook? E yes. All right. So this last question I've been asked this by one person. I just decided to include it in there because I know other people apply. So he said, Michael, I live in Indonesia. Would that be a problem for me getting the book? No, because I'm going to be selling it through not only me. In terms of shipping it but i'm gonna have it on amazon as well to where you can go and buy the book so i hope i answered some questions i hope i you know um did it how i was supposed to do it i do this in one take like i told y'all so if it was a little jumbled if it was a little crazy that's what it was so we're at like nine minutes almost ten minutes so um uh let me leave y'all with though some words of wisdom I hope y'all feel blessed. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope y'all have an amazing life. You know, just always remember, if you're misguided and undecided, knowledge and wisdom can be provided. Y'all go have a blessed one.